penultimate round of the Women Grand Prix concluded today. What a fighting tournament, what a fighting game by these players. Konero Hampi played against Nino Batsiashvili with the white pieces and they played out the Ragozin variation. This was the position the players reached after 10 moves and here Hampi took the strategic decision of allowing hanging pawns for black with the idea to play a3 intending after bishop a5 the pawns on c5 and d5 could be a target however here black found an amazing resource d4 it's not very strong but definitely unexpected for humpy after thinking for about 11 minutes in this position humpy shows the move knight e4 which is good but even another option for white here was take on d4 and give black an isolated pawn after which knight e4 might have been even stronger because bishop takes on d2 can be met with knight takes d2 we see that white has managed to maintain three minor pieces on the board more pieces on the board against an isolated pawn is favorable to the side playing against the isolated pawn and after knight b3 rook a d1 the d4 point will be even more vulnerable and the knight also jumps to c5 in the future so this was an option that humpy did not go for for d4 it's not possible to take the bishop because black will not take the knight first but will simply pick up the pawn with knight b4 and now we see that white is losing a piece because queen b1 will be met with pawn takes knight and the bishop is attacked and after bishop takes pawn we simply pick up the bishop on d3 and white is a piece down after humpy's move knight to e4 there were mass exchanges in this position after knight takes knight, bishop takes, bishop takes the bishop, knight takes and here black can take on e3 but bishop h7 is a check so she first plays h6. Here again Humpy could have picked up the c5 pawn with queen takes c5 and pawn takes e3 can be met with queen takes e3 and we are a pawn up. Maybe she did not like this position because of rook e8 ideas but white is still a pawn up in this position and has a good advantage to play for. Maybe she did not like rook e8 in this position but white is still a pawn up with the preferable position. Instead Humpy opted for the move knight b3 which is also pretty good because it attacks the c5 pawn and after pawn takes pawn takes the black pawn on c5 cannot be saved white will be a pawn up. After 19 moves, we see that White has emerged a pawn up with a strong chance to win the game. But Nino is a fighter. She finds the move a5 here, undermining the pawn on b4. Here, b5 would be a mistake because of the tactic knight to d4, which can be met with pawn takes, queen takes, and after queen f2, exchange the queen, and black picks up the knight on c5. Now after bishop takes, rook takes, a4 we see that white still has a small advantage due to the protected past pawn but she has lost her extra pawn and in rook end games this is much easier for black to defend because black can always attack the protector of the past pawn with rook c4 and control the a4 point so this could have resulted in a draw however white here had a good idea with bishop to f5 attacking the rook and rook c7 could have been met with rook to d1. This would have given white an initiative and maintaining the light squared bishop works in white's favor because f7 point could be a target and white of course has an extra pawn so as long as we can push b5, b6, b7 we always have chances of winning the game but white instead went for the move queen b3 which allows black to create counter chances the a5 move undermines the b4 pawn however here white could play the strong move bishop f5 attacking the rook and after rook c7 continue with rook a d1 play for initiative and maintain the light squared bishops on the board which is in white's favor because the f7 point is a weakness the rook is on the f5 and after white gets b5 b6 b7 white would win the game it is easier said and done though and white will still have to play a lot of accurate moves however here she went wrong with the move queen b3 and after queen e7 rook a d1 knight e5 the bishops got exchanged and black got good defensive chances. After 24 moves, Humpy was low on time, but she still had maintained her extra pawn and she found the amazing rook d5 consolidating her position and it seemed like she was on course 
to a full point. Here Hampi played the strong move rook d5. The rook is well placed, knight is well placed and white is ready to push b5 as the rook on d5 supports the knight on c5. If white gets b5, b6 and b7, the pawn will be supported with the knight on c5 and white will be win. So black plays rook fd8 challenging the rook on d5. Rook d1, rook takes, rook takes. And now in this position, black found an amazing move which saves the day for her. Here rook a8 would be a mistake because queen c3 controls a1 square and attacks the e5 knight. And now white is ready to play b5 and b6. Knight c6 also is not so great because white simply plays b5. And rook d8 would also not be enough for equality because of the move b5 or rook takes queen takes and b5. So here black plays the very strong rook b6 stopping the b pawn from advancing too much and the rook can always transfer to the king's side creating problems against the g2 pawn after queen g5 as a follower. White played queen c3 attacking the knight, knight goes back threatening knight b4 and here white found rook d7 with the idea to play rook b7 and here black came up with the most amazing move of the game which is queen e8. Let's see what's the point. After rook d7, white can pick up the b4 pawn with the knight because rook b6 will be met with knight d5, queen b3, knight takes rook, queen takes and queen into e3. And here we see the advantage of the queen being on e8 and not on f8. Pawn is picked up and after king h2, queen f4, king has to come back in order to avoid perpetual check. Queen e3, king f1, queen c1, king e2, queen c2 and black will give a perpetual if white goes to f3 with queen f5 and if king e3 black simply picks up the g2 pawn and it's impossible to avoid either losing the h3 pawn or the perpetual checks it will be a draw queen e8 definitely the move of the game but the knight b4 idea is an engine variation difficult for humans to spot nino has played bravely and she continues playing actively she did not go for knight b4 but she found another defensive resource after rook b7 black took on b7, knight takes and queen e4. A very strong move centralizing the queen and now white has a problem with the queen b1 check. White immediately replied knight d6 with the idea that queen b4 is impossible due to the c6 knight hanging. Queen b1 check was met with king h2, knight b4 and queen c4. Now f7 is attacked. So Nino plays king h7. Mind you, all the moves are being played under severe time pressure by both the players. And here, queen f7 would have still retained winning chances for white. But white chose the tricky e4 with the idea to play queen f7 on the next move. And now queen doesn't go back to g6, which was possible over here after the direct queen f7. But here, black found the amazing resource, knight c2, a very difficult defense to find. After knight c2, the idea is to play knight e3 and knight f1 with a perpetual. So white played queen d3, pinning the knight. Black again plays a good move, queen to b2, not to c1 as it allows queen c4, as it allows e5, king g8 and queen c4 again pinning the knight and controlling f4 at the same time. But queen b2 here with the intention to play knight e1 next. Knight f7 was Humpy's choice and after knight e1, queen f1 here, Nino found the move that draws the game. Knight takes g2, queen takes and queen f6. And now we see the point. The knight is trapped on f7 with nowhere to go. e5, b6, d8 are all covered by the black queen. Knight g5 doesn't work and neither does knight h8. So queen a2, the only move to save the knight. And now even king g6 would work. But Nino chose queen f4 and the game was drawn shortly. Because the knight is still trapped. Black simply picks up the e4 pawn after king g1 and the players soon agreed to a draw after queen f4, queen e6, h4 and king g8 and since the knight has nowhere to hide she took knight at 6 and the players agreed to a draw. This was a great game by both the players. Humpy's determination countered by Nino's resourcefulness. Nino's queen e8 definitely was the move of the day.